So we had gotten Tony as a package deal with his daughter. We bought both of them. And since he cannot breed his daughter and I have a male that can, uh, he really has no service here. I mean, he can cover my two other females, but just so there's no possibility of him breeding his daughter. We, uh, this is a stud llama. I'm not sure of his age, but he has proven, um, uh, He's had a daughter that I know of. We actually own his daughter. He's gentle, he'll follow a feed bucket. He's not halter trained, but he is pretty gentle for a llama. And he does, is, he wants to kind of be your friend. Like he'll come to the fence and see you. But overall, I mean, you can see he doesn't really want to be pet or anything like that. I have had a halter on him before. He did okay. I mean, not his favorite thing in the world, but he did let me put a halter on him. and. Why not? But he's a sh little bit shorter, stouter llama. He's done well so far with our pigs and uh, sheep and goats. He's been with all of them and he's had no problem with them. He hasn't bothered them or anything like that. And he hasn't offered to kick me or spit on me or anything like that. So honestly, he's a very uh, calm llama. He's got a little bit of brown on the sides of his eyes. But other than that, mainly white. Um, he is fully intact again and we'll follow your feed bucket whenever you want to move him. He is food motivated. So we call him Tony, Tony Llama. There he is running for you. We'll probably be selling him here shortly. So if you're interested in Tony, please give us a message and nothing wrong with him, but just have another male and don't want any inbreeding over his daughter.